want to talk about the great physician tonight. Everybody's sick. We're in a sin sick world today. Everybody's sick. Everybody loaded with infirmities of some kind. But the sword of the Spirit is here. What for? To cut out the different diseases. Sharp enough to cut out the mourner's thing. Use his sword and cut the mourner's thing out. And you know, I believe the right kind of a preacher can take that bench out without hurting you. I'm not going to hurt any of it, but the bench must come out. And the sword of the Spirit tells you that God don't hear and answer sinners' prayer. He says, the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears open to the righteous cry. But he turns his face against him that does evil. So, you just might as well surrender and give up the doctrines and commandments of men and Lord speak and thy servant will obey. Now uh, where does all of these divisions come? False doctrine. Uh, Jesus said, sow the seed. What kind of a seed? The seed of the kingdom. Uh, is the word of God and the seed of the kingdom sown in a man's heart has never made a baptist. Uh, that seed won't make them. You take an ear of corn and tear it clean into a, a London and plant it over there, and you get corn. Changing the situation and going into a new country don't give you a different kind of product. That same corn will bring corn in England. You take the word of God, the seed of the kingdom, and into Africa you make it and sow it, you make Christians. Go on over to London and you'll make Christians. It will make nothing else. Seed of the kingdom, and God has ordained that every seed bring seed after its kind. Yeah. And if you're in the poultry business, and you want, uh, you want leggings, white leggings, why? Just go on over there and order white leggings from the poultry man, and you sell them for so much as seven, and if they hatch out black chickens, and you're trying to buy white leggings, but do you not know you can go back on him and he'll change if he's honest and say he made a mistake? By those eggs, and all, every one of those eggs had a white shell around it. Ain't God wonderful to bring a black chicken out of a white shell? He's a wonderful God, and somebody startled, somebody worried about it, no need to worry, that's God's business. He was able to make all of us the various colors that we are, but he gave every man a soul. And Adam and Eve is a father and mother of all of us. That makes us all, as this boy says, if we're going to love his brother, uh -huh. brothers and sisters in Christ, uh -huh. that's what we are. Uh -huh. All come out of the same shell. Uh -huh. And there we are. Now, now then again, if you want this uh, white legging, or you want the brown legging, you can't go back on the man and say, well, I want white legging, and you gave me brown, he gave you what you ordered. You ordered brown legging, that's what he gave you. And God Almighty is coming back some of these days to judge the quick and the dead, and he's looking for nothing but Christians. Yeah. 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 Nothing but Christians, regardless of the color, whoever they are, is coming back after Christians. Yeah. Yeah. The seed of the kingdom only makes Christians. Yeah. Yeah. And Jesus, a great physician, came into the world and brought the medicine to heal the sin sick soul, yeah. the chief of sinners. Yeah. Apostle Paul, Saul of Tarsus is the chief of sinners, and God Almighty had it not been here to save the chief. He said, when I heard the gospel, I rose immediately. I got up at once. I didn't murmur. I didn't complain. I rose immediately and was baptized. That's what you ought to do tonight. If you want to be a Christian, you ought to get up immediately. When the invitation is extended, you ought to hesitate. There are men in this asylum could understand it as plain as these boys are presented tonight. Wow, well, brother, keep it up in this asylum. How can they believe it? Well, they tell me the men in this asylum whose minds come and go. You can catch it coming if you lost it going. <laughs> See, he, he could catch it. He could obey the gospel right there. I didn't say he would hold it, but he can understand it. And you that have good minds can understand this gospel. Jesus, a great physician, has the gospel to hear all nations and make us all one in Christ. What a wonderful gospel this is. Make us all do what else. Speak the same thing. And there'll be no division among us. Apostle Paul asked this question once, is Christ divided? Or was I crucified for him? 
Or did I be baptize any of you in my name? Right, right. I didn't baptize any in my name. I only baptized you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. In his name. Right. In his name. Last night a young lady obeyed the gospel, but she was baptized in the name of Christ and not in the name of Bap John the Baptist. Right. Right. Not in that name because she could. There's no other name under heaven. Even among men whereby we must be saved. No other name, no other name. Somebody said, well, my mama, why are we not discussing your mama? Because your mother didn't die for us. We're discussing the man that died. My mother was a Christian. How do you know she was? Not if she didn't obey the gospel, the word of God, if she didn't obey that. She's not a Christian. God is no respect of Christ. He wouldn't save your mother and she hadn't obeyed his word. The word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, pierce me the vine, the sword of the soul and the spirit, and the desert of the thought and the intents of the heart. The word of God. Word of God is all we want. What will it do is make us all speak the same thing. Make us all, yes, speak the same thing. And all members of the same church born again and regenerated. And of God in a joint air with Jesus Christ. I don't see why people hesitate as plain as the Bible is. Jesus said, search the scripture. For in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they that testify of me. I want to say again that Jesus is the greatest doctor, the great physician that never lost a case. He came upon the man one time, and he was even blind and spat on the ground and mixed up some clay and anointed his eyes. And the man's eyes come over. Who did it? Jesus. What did he do with it? Blood and spit. Made it up. And the man stood there and took it. Then some of us smart Alex today, we asked, what is that? Well, I don't want no spit in my eyes. So dignified. Lord, to hear it wasn't about his sight, would it? No, he, he stood there and let him do it. And you ought to stand tonight and let him lead you down the aisle. Lead you down to the preacher and be better with him in baptism and lead your fathers and your mothers and your husbands and your wives and say, Lord, speak. And thy servant will obey. In the one way, the great position. You know, sometimes we go to these stores Piggly Wiggly we used to have. You know, you used to have to stand around for more, uh, three, few hours sometimes, or maybe an hour, trying to get waited on. But you don't have to do that now. You just step in there, everything's labeled. Just push your buggy right on around there and load it up. And don't have to say they wouldn't wait on me. They didn't treat me right. Ain't that wonderful? God's got the same thing. You don't have to get in no church. Just go in there and get in the right church and roll around and get the right label. The right label is going. And then another thing, would you look silly in the store down there on the full plane and the goods on the shelf? <laughs> you, you look silly. The goods are on the shelf. Get up, man, read the label. Then another thing, somebody said, I want, the, I want green peas. Well, you don't have to go around that field in the can. Green peas feel just like corn. You could kill them by feeling. You know what you do? Read your label. The contents of that can is on that label. The content of what church to get in is labeled in this book. Don't be feeling for it. Get the label. You said, upon this rock, I will build my church. Get the label, brother. Don't lay down that wallet and try to find out what church mama died in. That ain't on the label. So can down and read the label. You have to get all in your basket you can get, and your heart is your basket. Then someday you're going to have to roll your buggy on up to the church. Yeah. And somebody sitting there to cash your register, you take it out of way. Whatever you got in your basket, one leg you flips up there, and that's it. Is that right? Yeah. Ain't nobody standing down there arguing, I don't think it's that much. Why, that adding machine, it ain't no, it, that adding machine is not a typewriter, it's an adding machine. Tells you the total, is that right? We be standing in the church, and to be judged by our stewardship. Jesus is going to start on the adding machine. Now, it parts. You didn't do what I said. Parts from your weapons of iniquity. Boy, you didn't do what I told you. And we 
hand. And you go to argue with a man about that ad in the machine, you know what he should tell you? I don't care what you say. Get your pen and paper. But I want you to know that that ad machine don't lie. Right. Standing in the judgment before God. Almighty, so I don't need the book right now. I'm preaching. <laughs> <laughs> See, he kind of bothered me. But anyway, anyway, when you go up there to that ad machine at the final judgment, when you go up there to the head machine at the final judgment and Jesus said, depart me, don't get angry. Don't get angry. You could have went up and got it off the shelf. Right. When got the wrong thing. Now you come. Then there's somebody else down there rolling, wants the baptism of the Holy Spirit. God didn't tell you to pray for the Holy Spirit to come down. Right. Oh, I see these dancing sanctified, dancing and down rolling and foaming at your mouth. Get up, get up. Let the Holy Spirit that brought this thing down here, let him tell you what to do. And when you go down in the water baptism, you're washed, washed, sanctified, and cleansed with the wash the water by the word. That's the way it's done, Church of Christ. And there's no need to have an spasm over this. No need to keep your right mind. But when somebody gets this shouting and rolling all around at the floor and making like they got the Holy Ghost, you excited. Keep cool, whatever you do, sober minded. Become a member of the church that was bought with the blood of Christ and tell them to stop rolling you. Tell them I don't want to get a religion like that. I want to walk out on God's word and I want the great physician to give me the medicine. I want the medicine from him. Take a dose of healing. Take a dose of repentance. Take a dose of confession. Take a dose of baptism. Wash every sin away. What are we doing then? You're obeying the great physician. Jesus said, without faith it is impossible to please him. And except to repent, you shall all likewise perish. And he that believeth in his baptized shall be saved. And except the man is born of water, and of the spirit, he cannot even enter the kingdom. Can't even see the kingdom of heaven. You're going to have to do it. You're going to have to do it. I hope somebody's in the audience tonight that's willing to walk out on God's word and turn your back on the doctrines and commandments of men and so long speak and thy servant will obey me. Behold, I stand at the door and knock and if any man will open, he says, I'll come in and sup with him and he with me. The spirit of the bride says, come. And I believe somebody in this audience tonight is ready. Somebody that has once been baptized and been a member of the Church of Christ and drifted back in the world. Like the particle son, you ought to say this to yourself, I will arise and go to my heavenly Father. I travel under his feet, his word under my feet long enough. I have put it to no shame. I've disgraced the Church of Christ. I've come, O oh Lord. I repent of my sin. I confess I've sinned. I come back begging God and asking the church to pray for me. Won't you do that tonight? Won't you do that? I hope somebody's here. Somebody willing to come. Somebody willing to be buried with Christ so your sins can be washed away. And that God add you to his church. The great physician said, The day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Now, not tomorrow, is the acceptable time. Today is a day of salvation. Won't you come? The spirit and the bride says come. Why not accept him while we all stand in